For I am about to do something new. See, I have already begun. Do you not see it? I will make a pathway through the wilderness and I will create rivers in the dry wasteland. Isaiah 43, 19. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. First of all, I just want to say a big thank you. I know I don't do intros, but I just want to say thank you to everyone that subscribed. Last time I made a video, I had 6,000 subscribers. Now I'm on basically 9,000 subscribers. And I just want to say a big, big thank you. I just pray that the Lord will establish your plans. As you are supporting me on my journey, the Lord will support you. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Okay, so now we're just going to dive right in. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is brows for the, this look today we're just doing a very neutral cut crease basic cut crease you know nothing extravagant just a cut crease okay so first you want to do your brows i'm gonna like zoom past this so i'm not gonna talk i'm just gonna do my brows apparently i talk too much so i'm gonna take it down a notch Using the NYX Angel Veil, and this is just a pore minimizing primer, and it says it makes your face look velvety. I didn't even sit down my camera properly. Yeah, it's in a hair tutorial. I'm talking about. For concealer, I'm going to use the Benefit Boing Concealer. So because this concealer says that it's a full coverage concealer, I'm just going to use that as my eyeshadow base as well. And then I'm going to take my Makeup Revolution Banana Deep Setting Powder. It looks like this. And I'm just going to set my eyelids. The Doll Beauty DB1 brush. And I'm just going to be using one palette. And the palette I'm going to be using is the Juvia's Place, the Nomad palette. And I'm just going to be using the orange, the brown, and the nude colour. So first I'm going to go with the orange. The orange is going to serve as my... This is going to be a three colour tutorial so that it's just as easy as possible. I'm going to hold the tip of my brush to apply it. I don't want to go too heavy handed because, you know, with less, less is better because you can always add. If you put too much, <laughs> you're going to start again. I've already got some colour there, but I'm going to keep applying... And you want to take it like all the way in here. If your colour isn't as pigmented, you can just go in, pat in first. So just to get the colour showing, you pat it on and then you blend it out. Please, please, please. I'm not I'm not a um, professional in way. This is just how I do my look. It's a small fluffy brush and I'm going to use that to apply the dark brown which is my crease colour. And if you feel like you've lost some colour in your transition colour you can always go back in and add some more. To cut my crease, I'm using the Be Perfect Perfect Prime Primer Eyeshadow Base. And I'm just going to take the smallest amount on my hand. But it's a dense concealer brush. It looks like this. So what I'm doing, I'm just following my natural crease line. And then I'm going to use this colour as my lid colour using a small fluffy brush. 
this color is a bit bright so I'm gonna go over it with this So now I'm going to go back in and just blend that crease colour out some more, like so. So the eyeliner that I'll be using is the Benefit Roller Liner. So with my cut crease eyeliners, I like to go up, so I would, let me try and get you guys in a nice angle. So I'll start lining here, then I'll kind of like draw it in an upwards motion. So if I will trace it, so as you can see there's a like a gap in between my lash line and the eyeliner because I've gone slightly up, if that makes any sense. I just find that it makes my eyes more feline. So I'm just going in diagonally instead of just going across and straight. Guys, this eyeliner, oh, 93% says it doesn't tug or drag the skin. I am 94% now because I agree. 94% said it comes, it creates a smooth, continuous line. 95% now because I agree. I don't know what lashes I'm going to wear today. Guys, my, my problem, the problems I've been having, the, this is the only problems I want in my life, choosing my lashes. This is the only problem I want in my life choosing lashes any other problem i give it to god i give it to god another problem that i don't mind is what bank account am i gonna spend from it's the benefit bad girl bank for my foundation today i'm using the benefit foundation in the shade number nine Hello Happy Aesthetic Foundation and it says it is a glide on air medium coverage stick foundation that feels weightless and breathable. It is a weightless medium coverage stick foundation with SPF 20. Okay, it looks like second skin. It blends into my skin very, very well. It reminds me of the Juvia's Place foundation in terms of like how super duper blendable it is. I'm just gonna go over this with my sponge and then I'm gonna take the same concealer that I used before to highlight this is said to be a full coverage con concealer so I'm not gonna go too heavy-handed with it I definitely say a little goes a long way with this concealer, but Okay guys, this concealer is definitely for coverage, yeah. I'm going to use Suede Mocha by Black Opal and I'm going to use that to contour. So now I'm going to set, and to set I'm using the Makeup Revolution Banana Deep Setting Powder. I just take the lightest layer at first just to set the concealer into place. Wow. I cannot believe my eyes. Guys, if you see. <sighs> Guys. 
Guys, I'm gonna bake for literally five seconds while I do my under eye liner. So I'm gonna take Banana Light, which is lighter than Banana Deep. And I'm gonna use that to reverse contour I'm using the Pixie Silky Eye Pen. It's really, really good. And it's really, really black. So I lightly sweep first the excess. And once I've sweeped, I dab. Sweep off the excess underneath. Then I set my eyebrows um when i set them they get hairier and they look um they look hairier than they are when i set them and i kind of like that look now makeup revolution glow splendor ultra matte bronzer in the shade medium for my blush i'm using the sleep makeup ultra flush blush i don't know where i got ultra from but it's the flushed blush And to highlight, I'm using the Juvia's Place, the Nubian Loose Highlighter. Then I'm going to take my Iconic London Palette. I need the brown lip liner to line my lips. Then I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Hydro Gloss in Tainted. Then I take my sleek makeup clear lip bulb and I go on top. But you can just take any clear gloss. And then just to finish everything off, I'm using my Morphe setting spray. So this concludes the video guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And turn on the bell so you don't miss a notification for me. I'll see you guys in my next video.